the Boston Children's Museum and I'm about to do an animal show here. Look, it's pretty packed. Lots of people. It's always crazy when I come here, but tons and tons of fun. Gonna get ready to start in like a minute. Wait till we see the welcome to Boston Children's Museum and welcome to today. We do live animal demonstrations here at the museum once a month. And today we have Andy and an experience and our friend Matt, and he's gonna be telling us about the animals in the We also have with us today our friend Sana, who will be interpreting the presentation in American Sign Language for us. So thank you. Listen. How you guys doing? Good? You guys having fun at the museum today? Do you guys like animals? Then you're in the right place. Okay. My name is Mr. Matt. People usually call me the Animal Man. I come from Animal World Experience. Yeah. <laughs> Which is at my house in Stoughton. I have about 70 animals in my house. It's like a zoo. It's, it's pretty wild. I have a furry animal room, a reptile room, and five indoor ponds in my house. And almost all these animals are rescued or adopted pets that people couldn't care for anymore, they didn't want them anymore, and I give them all forever home, which I'm very, very proud of. And this is my full-time job. I go to places like this, I can bring animals to your house for your kid's birthday party, I go to lots of nursing homes, schools, all different places. I'll be here with you guys about a half hour. I'll probably show you five or six different animals that I brought with me, and we're gonna talk about animal engineers today. So I'll bring out the animal and I'll tell you how in their own special way, they're like a little engineer. And this will be pretty fun, pretty interesting. You know what the best part is though? You guys get to pet some of the animals if you want to. Does that sound good? Yeah? So stay in your spots. I will bring some of the animals around. If you want to pet them, you can. If you don't want to pet them, just say no thank you. You don't have to, but they are all very friendly. Are you ready to see the first animal? You ready, Noah? Okay. Yeah. I like to kind of start out easy because I don't want to scare away the adults. So I like to ease into things and I'm going to start out with a turtle. Who likes turtles? I think turtles are liked by a lot of different people and I think they're really cute. They're really cute animals. I have 13 turtles at my house. This is one of my tortoises and her name is Bumpy. You guys can wave hi to her if you want. She can see very, very well. Bumpy is a four-year-old girl. And this is her little diaper. It's actually my son's washcloth. And that's in case she has an accident. This is called a sulcata tortoise, and they are from Africa in the Sahara Desert. And they are the third largest tortoise in the world. This one is still very small. She may grow to weigh over 100 pounds one day. Her shell will be like this. And they can live to be over 150 years old also. Now if you look at her, you can see her claws on her front legs and these very large scales. She is a burrowing tortoise. And what a burrow is, it's basically an underground tunnel that an animal will dig for their shelter. All right, raise your hand again. Who likes furry animals? I brought a nice furry tarantula for you. Nobody left, that's a good sign, okay. This is Angela Tarantula. You can all say hi to Angela if you want. Hi, Angela. I'll tell you what, as a special gift for all the adults in the room, I'll keep her in this Tupperware for you, okay? You're welcome. <laughs> I'll walk around the whole time so we can look. Please don't tap on it, though. No animals like the cages being tapped on. But you can all look at her. So, most of us know tarantulas have eight legs, right? They also have eight eyeballs. Their eyes are in all one little dot on top of their head. You can barely even see it. Unless she has magnifying glass. And they have two little claws on each of their feet. And those are used for climbing, but also for burrowing. These could burrow also. And that would be her shelter. Just like that tortoise would do. She'll dig up a little tunnel. Not a long one like the tortoise, a small tunnel, like three or four inches. You guys ready for the big blue box? Yeah. The one you've all been waiting for. I know all the kids have really great guesses what's in this blue box. Someone over here thought it was an alligator, right? Someone in the back thought it was a snake. But you're both wrong. Both wrong. This is baby TV. His name is TV. We adopted TV 
about a year and a half ago now, he was the size of my pinky finger when we got him. He'd curl up inside a coffee mug. We need to see him now. He's still growing a little bit though, but he's starting to slow down. Oh, hey, buddy. Gonna wake him up. Here he comes. I don't know. This is TV. You guys want to say hi to TV? Hi, hi TV. TV. So, raise your hand who's ever heard of a Komodo dragon before. They're pretty famous. This is a cousin of a Komodo. And just so people understand, if you don't know what a Komodo dragon is, Komodo dragon's a kind of lizard. They are in the monitor lizard family, and Komodos are the second largest monitor lizard in the world. And this is called a savanna monitor. They're from Africa, the same place that tortoise would be from. These don't get as large as a Komodo, but the adult male ones of these do get between four and five feet long, and up to 30 pounds, which is still a huge lizard. This guy is almost four feet long, and weighs about 10 pounds, but he's, he's already a very, very big boy. Raise your hand who's ever seen a chipmunk. Good, good. This is a special kind of chipmunk. It's called a degu, D-E-G-U, and they're from South America. It's basically a South American chipmunk. There's a little boy. His name's Alfredo. He has a girlfriend named Fettuccine at home. She's got the day off. No, no, no. He's no. like food at our house. Fettuccine and Alfredo. There he is. You guys want to say hi to him? Say hi, Alfredo. Hi, Alfredo. Hi. He knows his name. So, this is a Daegu. Yep. Now, they're different than a chipmunk around here. First of all, they have no stripes, right? No stripes. They're all brown. That's for camouflaging with the dirt. And they live with a very, very large family. You know, a chipmunk around here lives alone, lives in the uh, nest of babies. Stop. These live with a very large family, up to 100 of them live together in one burrow. Mm -hmm. And that's because they have safety having a large family, lots of help raising the babies or finding food also. And their house is kind of like a human house. And so what I mean by that is it's not just one tunnel underground that the tortoise would have. They'll have a front entrance tunnel, like a front door. They'll have a back door, usually a side door. They'll have a living room, a nursery room underground, sometimes even a pantry where they store food. So it's kind of like one of our houses. You guys could all pet her, I'll bring her around, just be gentle. Pet him, rather, sorry. So they're like little engineers. They create this whole underground burrow system. Did you guys like all the animals you saw today? Thank you. Thanks so much for coming. For adults, please feel free to come up here and grab a business card if you want to help support us. Check us out on YouTube. It's Animal World Experience. Also, we do birthday parties. Thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of your day at the Kids Museum. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Alfredo.